Should we call? Uh, do you want to call Bradley Martin about the Ooh, yeah. Vegas yeah, thing? Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna hit him up right why now. Why do you say not Vegas. Vegas? Not Vegas. I say it that way. It has nothing to do with Vegas. Yeah, I know. I don't know why I said Vegas though. Vegas. I say it that way. I don't know. Algorithm is the other word that you say wrong. I always say algorithm. It says algorithm. It acts like there's no fucking L. I have an accent. That no one else in the world has. Just say words part. wrong altogether. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm on no jumper right now, and we were just talking about the thing with uh, Vitaly. Oh shit. Do Do you want to talk about it or not? You're on no jumper right now. Um, we're, we're, we're we're live. live. We've we're already live, talked bro. about we're it. Live. We've already we're talked live. about it, but. Oh, I mean, I don't know. Is it live? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're live right now. You're like people oh, can so hear I you right now. Uh, what, up? what up, G? I should have texted you first and warned you before I called. I'm sorry. That's all good. What's, so what's good? No, we're just like, what happened, right? Because like we heard a couple eyewitnesses talk about what happened between you and him, and we we're just wondering your take, like what went down. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, just, just I think he was hyped. He was just hyped to the end of the fight. And I think he was trying to get on on the on the stage or something like that, you know, to do some Vitaly shit. Yeah, he wanted to and, challenge uh, 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 Logan. I don't know. I he let's know he wanted to be on the stage to do some shit. You know, I know he had like his he had like his sweater on like with his with his brand and all that stuff. I probably challenged Logan or and then I think he was he was like Snapchatting, um, yo, KSI's a bitch, uh, fight me next and then I was right behind him so I was joking he'd be like, What about me? Fight me and then he turned around and got like real like that's when that happened, he got real like kinda of just too high energy. Interesting. And the, and the thing is he's he's my boy, but it, yeah, it was just weird because he just he stepped up as you saw in the video like the dude stepped up and like just wait there's a video in the neck there's a video yeah there's a video where is the video online no, no. oh okay I, I was about to post this shit tomorrow but I was just lazy I didn't want to have to edit it oh we want to see the video so bad like I was sitting on the other side I didn't see it Banks saw it though and some other people I was right there Bradley you're a fucking animal Beast. Yo, oh, Banks is there too? Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's here too. Oh, it's lit. Let's go. What's up, baby? Yeah, no, I'll, uh, Bradley, would you ever I'll consider uh, doing a, a fight like what Logan and KSI did last night? Well, I would love to, but like, I'm 260 up, so it's like. Not really <laughs> of... You could fight Briggs. I mean, isn't he a, like a retired fucking UFC fighter? No, <laughs> Shannon Briggs. Oh, no. Oh, is it fight the old dude? <laughs> yeah. No, nah, you spent all those years building up all that fucking muscle, bro. You can't just let go of that shit. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I got, I got a lot, I guess. I can't, I can't just I let got go a lot. It does. takes a lot of maintenance to keep that much fucking muscle on your frame, he's man. Diesel. Yo, how yeah. dry were those taquitos last night? <laughs> fucking trash. Stable center. Which ones? Oh, the taquitos? Oh, they were so bad. How they bad? They were dry as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, yo, yo, wait, so are you guys at, are you guys on Melrose right now? I mean, are you at his spot right now? Yeah, yeah we're yeah, at the yeah. other spot. I can text you the address yeah, if you want to pull yeah, up. I, like, slept the whole fucking day. Yo, um, isn't it weird how those taquitos, like, too. we all go to 7-Eleven and we don't order the shitty fucking taquitos, but then all of a sudden you're in a room where they're free and you just eat them. <laughs> yeah. But when you're at 7-Eleven, they're like a dollar. It's yeah. like... Yeah. I don't understand I why we're all eating duck, them. Eat those plenty of times. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, by the way, the ones different. at 7-Eleven were better than the ones at the Stable Center. Probably, I, I agree. Yeah. That, I back yeah, that. Yeah, full. Shitty 7-Eleven food's not bad. <laughs> Yo, we're, we're going to work on it. We're going to work on it. Uh, roll by if you want. Oh, I live in the valley. I'm like fucking a whole... Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, shit. How long are you going to be there for? I'm about to like six. Yeah, probably like a, like an hour, 30 minutes, something like that. Six thirty. Oh, no, fuck. I'll send you this clip, though. Yeah, we'll brainstorm here and we'll figure out a good opponent. Yeah, man, think about it. All right, see, man. DJ Academics. Yo, I was so lazy, like DJ with that, dude. I need to work out, bro. Like, holding that phone that long. <laughs> oh, your arm starter. <laughs> I thought you been in the gym and you lose uh, weight to fit into your nah, suit. all I did is diet. That's it. Like uh, I, I just did diet. Thanks to him, dude. Yeah, like you helped out with that. Dieting what is kind of most. Diet? Uh, Intermittent so, fasting, bro. That's what it okay, is. Listen, yeah. it's calories in versus calories out. I wish Bradley was still on the phone because he'll fucking tell you that. And I'm not like a no carbs, thing. and I eat within four hours of the day. That's it's like it. a window, okay. and that's like the window where it's yeah. like all you're eating for the day has to be from like two p.m. I've gotten up to like fucking fat kid status a couple times. 
it's I would I would do like 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. There's really only so much you can eat, and I would I would I would uh, keep myself try to keep myself below like 1500 calories. But like, I did hit my goal, and those right? Shit melts yeah. off. Bro. So and KSI won the fight. So last night I went out and had a fucking giant stack of pancakes. And it was yeah. the greatest thing ever, bro. You deserve it. Bro. That, it was was a, a, that was a win for you. It's yeah. a once in a while thing. It's if it's like. If it's not part of like a broader lifestyle change, it'll still be on the <laughs> Are same. Are pancakes track. not the best food on <laughs> the not, fucking planet? We can get into this right now. Damn. They're not. French French fried chicken, French burgers. Toast is better, waffles uh, okay, are better. okay. Carbonara. French toast art. It's the worst out of the three. No. By far. By far. Falafel. Hey, if you like, pan- I mean, if you really like pancakes, you're a fucking that. weirdo. Pancakes with real maple. Syrup. Have you ever had the wheat pancakes with real maple syrup? Oh, dude. You're so white trash. <laughs> I fucking love it. <laughs> the best pancakes. Waffles I'm gonna those, be uh, Mary and Tana next. Those shitty Crisco pancakes that are all like all like burnt around the edges and whatnot. Those are the only really pancakes that I think. The ones are that are pre-filled with the uh, the fucking little pancakes on the uh, McDonald's. You, you like know? those? Oh, those like ones. Them. When's the last it's time like everybody had the worst pancakes? One of my guilty pleasures. When's the last those... time we went to McDonald's? Shit, right before I started this diet. That's my favorite <laughs> restaurant. I love that shit. Nikki D's, I don't know. A couple weeks ago. It's a, it's a good it's a good Dude, one. the sausage egg one McMuffin, hit. it's like a two bucks or a dollar. I don't even know. Right, it's like, like a totally best. different Yo, restaurant. It's a really good Postmates option when you have a shit ton of hungry people at like fucking three in the morning. Like, oh, when you're ordering Postmates for fucking 20 people. It gets there in 15 people. minutes and it's fucking cheap. But that's what's so baffling about the fucking cloud house is that you're really hanging out there with like 20 fucking people. Yeah. And then there's another house, two houses down. You have your own house that's separate from the cloud house that from, is more no, chill? No, my house is the cloud house, and then two houses down is the phase house. It's strictly only phase guys that live in there. Okay, and so you said. No, my house is like the Nelk Boys, Rice. Um, who else has been oh, staying there? What? I got the video. He's been staying there. I don't know what oh, to do wow. with it. Can, I, can we just watch it real quick? Yeah. This is. I, Whoa, let no, me do I this. To, Should I? How do I? Do you want to email it? I to, want the fans to see it. I don't want the fans to get fucked over. Is it? A, it's not a real fight. Like, no, no, we should no, be dude, worried dude, about dude, showing, you, right? You're gonna, you're gonna witness him. Let's right watch, watch it first. Let's, let's watch, watch it, it let's first. Watch it. Previewing it for you guys. Ooh. That good? Ooh, yo, no, no, it's not. This video is not that good because he, he, it's not in frame, but you can tell. It looks good. You can tell. I'm saving the video. And I mean, then, you, you can who do I send it to? Happens. What's the email? It's exactly oh, the way I described it, too. I'll type it in if you want. his neck. I told you, bro. That shit was crazy. Can you see me in the frame? That's a good clip. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, Bradley Martin beating up fucking Vitaly here, is like a is. fucking just wet dream. Out how to email it or whatever. Whoa, I just saw the swing real quick. You, that know, was you, intense. Have beef, you have beef with Vitaly? No, I just feel like Bradley beating him up would be... Vitaly's just... one of the fucking funniest people. Yeah, Vitaly's a good dude. I he like Vitaly. He is a good dude. And you know, know what? He He's fucking broken a lot of barriers on the internet. Let's be real. Yes. Like T.I.'s daughter's hymen? I can always get behind a, True. a villain, too. On, like, on would, would yeah. you, How, like he's a villain for the right When reasons. your daughter's 18, are you going to be going to the gynecologist just, like, inquiring about her hymen? Like, you? No. <laughs> no. Never. No. I don't even want to have this conversation. <laughs> no. No. Isn't that the weirdest thing ever? Dude, like, bro, I saw that, and I just, I, I don't fucking know. Saw so what? Uh, T.I. He, t- Wait, what I'll let him he... explain it. Basically, he said that he still goes to the gynecologist with his daughter every year after her birthday. To have her inspected to to see if she's a virgin. To have the doctor inspect and make sure she still has her hymen, even though like you can lose your hymen from various other sports activities, stuff like that. And I mean, now the argument everybody's having is like, this is invasive. This is weird shit to be doing to an adult. And I guess it would be one thing if she was 16. She's 18. Oh, shit. She's 18. Listen, listen, it's still a fucking huge invasion of privacy to even do that to them at any age. That's weird. The weird thing about it, though, and I think it's interesting that this conversation is now happening because of this is basically like when you're a dad how do you continue to have this conversation about like what is appropriate or what's okay sexually in the modern age where we all <coughs> want to be open-minded and stuff i mean Kim's the only one with a daughter and he clearly doesn't want to talk about it from his no. perspective but i think it's interesting because ti clearly has crossed the line yeah. and and advocated doing Here's something the that thing. is Here's the thing, uh, he, a, a father like should not be involved in those conversations or discussions at all. Like fucking dads should have that conversations with sons. Mothers should have don't, those conversations with daughters. Dads out there, in, in that scenario, you have to. But I'm saying like, listen, I don't necessarily agree with that. 
I'm going to break it down to my daughter like this. If I have a daughter, I'm going to tell her this. Listen, you're a girl, and that makes you different from boys, obviously, <laughs> and in the social <laughs> sense. Um, dudes will fuck anything, anywhere, anytime. Men are dogs, and they love pussy. And they will say anything to you to to receive your vagina. But the biggest hose... Pay this is getting really the, fucking the weird. The biggest hose that we know probably... Your, not, <laughs> a lot of them like probably that. had a dad who I said something say, like that to them, though. The biggest hose like we know. I wouldn't say it like that. But I would say, I would say, listen, pay, no, this is actually some profound shit. I would say, pay attention. You to said what it like it was an Amazon delivery to receive. I would just your want vagina. my daughter to be a slut. I would tell her to be careful. I would tell her to make him wrap that dirty dick up. I'd tell her, pay attention to more what he says to you when you don't let him have sex with you. But that's what probably, if she graduates? That's closer to how he she, actually feels. She about graduates him. high school and she tells you she wants to start a private snap. Oh no! There's nothing you can do to stop her. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. These are the things that happen. This is what T.I. is worried about. I don't know. But those are the ones. I mean, the overprotective, overbearing, those are the ones that the girls break through and then they're free. And You they forever hear that. How many girls do you no, know that were like, one. oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge slut, but I went to Catholic school and that's what made me into a slut. I that's, mean, it is. You hear a, it all the time. Yeah. It is a weird scenario. Like, I mean, you you do like basically porn and shit. It doesn't affect mm -hmm. you. But some other people, like, they do that and then, then that's they're kind of cut off from everything else because of that, you know? Mm. That's weird. Anyhow, we, let's, let's play this. Do we have this pulled up on OBS so they can see it? Cool. Filming a GoPro. Look at that. Whoa. Boom! Yep. Look at. <gasps> wow. He's not fucking around. Look at his face. Bradley like that's not a joke. Serious. Look at the hand. The way he puts his hands around his neck. Mm. What's that supposed to do? <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, that's the dude. Yo, yo that's the, the dude who Jay actually right has there. it. Yo, yo, try to get his footage. That's um. His name's John something. He does, like, camera work for them. He's a fake Jake Paul. He's he he's in Team 10. I know. He just looks so much like Jake Paul. as like, I thought it was Jake Paul when he walked in with Tanner. That kid. That, that looks like, like Cole. You guys, hear, you, guys have, you guys want to hear a funny story about that kid? Is Cole over? Yo, listen. Dude, he's fucking canceled. Fuck that clown. Oh, that son of a bitch. That kid pulled up to my house a long time ago with, like, a clout gang rap on his car. Ooh, classy. And, and he was like, he want, I mean, I, I admire the ambition, though, because he fucking found a way to... to get involved in shit and he's got a job now and shit. Oh, oh so. we could call Vitaly. Ooh. We could call Ooh. Vitaly. I'm interested to hear what he has to say. He's probably going to be like, yo, I was being a dick. Like, he's probably... Yeah, I'll text he him. He probably knows. We got to ask him, how do you feel about Bradley Martin beating you up? That's what we all want to know. That was hectic, man. But they dapped up after their home. They're supposed to be homies. Like, you know what I mean? The Nelk Boy crew. Like, they, they fucking... You know what I mean? Vitaly, they've been fucking with Vitaly for a minute. Vitaly has such a weird website where he doesn't actually fuck the girls, but there's they're like nude pranks. I met one what, of them the other night at the club. pranks like what? Yeah. He makes like naked girls eat worms and shit. <laughs> Shut up. I met one who just shot the day before at a nightclub. Was it Maddie? No, I don't do Her Instagram name is just at Maddie. And that's the girl that he had with him yesterday. You know how many was... Maddies and Jesses and fucking... <laughs> but she's what happened to his girlfriend? Vitaly Maddie is one? the name, by the yeah, way. Yeah, the blonde-haired girl. That was his girlfriend, right? No, I don't no, 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 no. I don't know. What about no. when him and Fusi went to Colombia and were fucking prostitutes or whatever that crazy-ass <laughs> beef they had was oh, all about? Shit. Yeah. We never really figured Look, out. Look, people are sickos. So, I, I believe, I believe everything, not, not everything, but most of what Vitaly said about that situation. Mm. Like, Vitaly was like, yeah, Fusi was fucking hookers too. Like, what are you, what are you saying? But do you believe that Fusi's addiction that he's always talked about is prostitutes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, shout out to him though, because I think that's nice and healthy. Yeah. yeah. 